Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NACHW Member Clicks tutorial. Member Clicks is our brand new membership portal, replacing our old one. It'll be home to all the features that you've come to expect, including event signups, webinar signups, social calendars, uh, as well as job opportunities, a member directory, and much, much more. Uh, and we're very excited to be debuting this new platform on this new backend. Member Clicks is very powerful and it will enable us to offer some exciting new features that we have always wanted to offer but hadn't had the capability to. Um, initial rollout will be very basic, uh, just the basic membership backend with profiles and things like that. Uh, but as time goes on, we will be rolling out more features and we're very excited to introduce you to this. So today we'll just be going through a very quick tutorial on how to access member clicks and a few of the features and little intricacies of the site. Um, so if you'll notice on nachw.org on our homepage, we now have a button right here saying access our member portal. And this will take you right to member clicks. Now, some of you, uh, those who have become, who are already members, will have received an email with instructions on accessing your new account. Uh, this is technically the same account as before, just merged into member clicks. Uh, but there's some new features, including the ability to, say, change your username and new uh, options for uh, demographic information that you will notice when you log in. Um, and of course, as mentioned, there's many benefits on the back end on our end that we can use to offer you more features in the future. Um, but yes, it's simple enough. If you are already a member, you may have received a welcome email uh, giving you instructions on how to access uh, your account on this new database. Um, but if you haven't received that, uh, I will be happy to repeat them here for you. Now, if you're already a member, you simply click member login over here and you can log in using your username and password. If this is your, if you are currently a member and this is your first time logging into the new member clicks backend, you will need to reset your password as that information. We do not store passwords over plain text. So anyone who was on the old membership backend on our website will not have their password transfer over. So those logging in for the first time will click reset password and simply enter the email address associated with your account and send the password reset email. And you should receive that and be able to reset. And once that's reset, you will be able to log into the new membership backend. But for those who have that squared away, you can simply log in here. And here we reach the membership backend. Now, for those who do not currently have an account, either on the previous membership portal on our website or on member clicks right now, simply click the membership registration slash renewal button. This will take you to a registration page. And for new users, you simply scroll down to the bottom and enter the email you wish to use for your new account. Once you click register, it will take you through a process of changing or choosing a password for your account, as well as entering some demographic inf and contact information such as address and phone number. And then once that's squared away, you will be able to select the membership tier you wish to purchase, such as the CHW individual membership for $20 per year or the ally individual membership for $50 per year. And then once that's squared away, you will be able to log in just as anyone else would by clicking the member login and logging in here. Now, once again, we've reached the members only area. Now for folks who are approaching the end of their membership period, you need to click the same button, membership registration slash renewal. If you are not logged in, it will ask you to log in. If you are currently logged in, you won't have to. And that will bring you to a similar form, allowing you to renew your membership. Now, 
if you are not within the renewal period, which is 30 days before the expiration date, you will receive this message. You are ineligible to take this form. Please contact your administrator. That's quite all right. You just have to wait until it's 30 days beforehand before you can renew your membership manually. There is also the option of setting up automatic registration so that your registration, your membership will auto renew uh, once every year. Uh, this requires a credit card on file, um, and this can be turned off at any time or turned on. With these basics squared away, one more thing that everyone should know about, and that is the My Profile section. Here, we can access our profiles. Simply click the Edit Profile button, and you will be able to change a wide variety of metrics and fields, including your address, area of work, your username, your contact name, and many others. This information will be used by NACHW to get a better sense of our audience, as well as offer unique and fitting opportunities for everyone. We hope you have found this very basic run through of Member Clicks informative, and we're looking forward to seeing you online and rolling out some exciting new features for you with this brand new portal in the near future. Thank you for watching.